it's PikeFace777 here, and today I'm going to be going over the new creature customization menu in the brand new Feral Closed Beta Test. But before I start, as you guys know, it's time for comment of the week. This comment goes to, drumroll, <laughs> Sky Luna, and they said Sunken Thicket is so pretty. And yes, I agree 100%. So as I stand at the top of the rat wall, let's look at the new creature customization options. So right off the bat, I can tell they definitely changed a lot, especially with looking up and down on your creature. And plus they added this nice moving background. So we have basically the same option menus except for this, which is called favorite looks. And I'm guessing you can save your looks for later. So let's start on the body. Right here's the head. So apparently Wildworks changed their heads? They only have two heads. What? But it's called head three and this is head one. I think this might be a mistake. It's obviously not in order. And plus I don't know why they would take out all the different options. It's kind of weird. Oh, you can zoom in now? That's awesome. Anyways, I believe this is a mistake because there used to be like 10 different head shapes that you can pick from. And I hope it is a mistake because it'd be nice having more options, especially for the people that are really into creating looks. And also now I can't make my old look again because it was like one of the head shapes with the side things. Anyways, moving on to the eyes. Um, I think this is the same menu with the different eyes and stuff. Check out eye shape. So I believe all the eyes are still the same. And for pupil shape, I think they're all here as well. I hope. Also, sorry for this kind of basic look. I didn't really do anything yet. I just slapped on a bunch of items that I already had in my inventory. Wait, I just noticed this is like a circle. It's not even touching the creature. <laughs> this is like floating. So we also have ears, which again, only two options, but I do believe it's a mistake because it goes one to four. Like, I don't think that's how it works. Here are the horns. And yeah, there used to be more options, but obviously, whatever is going on with the creature customization, they should fix it. And of course, you can change the hue, saturation, and value. And they have the handy dandy hex code down there, so you can put in specific colors that you'd like. And moving on to this thing called Spark, which I know nothing about. Um, oh, it's that thing in their head. I don't know if you can see it. It's right under that. Here, let me just take off all the accessories. All right, there we go. So, um, where was I? All right, so going back to Spark, this is the little diamond that all the creatures have on their head, and you can change the color. They didn't have this last time, so I like this addition, because when I logged on, I was wondering if you can change it, and you can, so I'm happy about that. So these are all the head options. Now let's move on to arms and legs. So it's still coming up with the only two options right now, which kind of sucks. But again, you can always change the leg thickness, make it super buff. Looks like my sunrise is about to like beat someone up. And yeah, that's literally it for arms and legs. I think there's something going on with the creature customization. Because I remember there being a lot of more options in the arms and legs section. Like you can change the color and stuff, if I remember correctly. So let's go on to color. And obviously you can change- oh my god, this is like really gross. <laughs> You can change the color of your animal by selecting the different squares. Basically same concept as last time. Also, just so you know, I'm not trying to make a look or anything. I'm just putting random settings on the character. And we also got decals, which are the little things you can add to your creature. Apparently there is now a limit to 30. I don't know if this is permanent or not, but they did add many, many more options, which I'm pretty happy about. But I don't remember there being a limit last time, so who knows if this will stay or not. I'm pretty sure it still has the same options where you can turn it around, you can make it big or small, or you can rotate it and change the color. Next up, we have accessories. I think it's the same from last time. You can attach your items. I got this blacksmith mask from the Blood Tundra. If you haven't seen the video, make sure to go check it out because I just posted it. I actually got this from the quest, so that was pretty cool. But yeah, I think the accessory is the same from last time. And you can obviously go to the shop if it would load. Here we go. 
Why does this like kind of match? Wait, what the heck? There seems to be no stock in the shop, which is an issue because you obviously can't buy anything. Same with the Enigma items. But obviously Feral is very like unstable at the moment. A lot of things aren't working and I get a lot of bugs, which is the purpose of beta testing, you know? This is not like a finished game yet. So next we have favorite looks. I haven't messed with this yet. I think you can save look down here oh, and then you can select a slot and then name it. Oh, that's cool. So I'll name it sub because you should go do that right now. And then if you go down, you can see your look. And unfortunately, we're only allowed two look spots, but that might change in the future. Okay, so lastly, we have the swap creature function. They used to have it where you would slide and select each creature, but now they have this new thing where it's just you scroll, which is probably faster. And also you're allowed two looks per each animal. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that's going on with the creature customization at the moment. I think it's just really buggy right now, but I'm sure Wildworks will fix that soon. <gasps> I just fell off the rat wall. I think I got to the top of the rat wall. No! Yeah, I'm getting so distracted. I just need to do this. It's actually kind of hard. I feel so proud. Look at that. That's a thumbnail. Looking off into the galaxy. You guys think these are like the different lands of Feral? Like that could be Mugmire Marsh. That could be like Sunken Thicket. And then this is like something that's not made yet. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, I have an active Discord server where we talk about Feral, Animal Jam, and other games. So join it if you can. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay epic, stay awesome. Bye!